Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here. Got a quick 60 second weather score for you about why Hurricane Gordon has managed to uh, get so far eastwards across the Atlantic. Here's Gordon as of uh, 10 o'clock this morning and uh, just southwest of the Azores Islands you can see there and uh, some very strong winds and heavy rain surrounding it as you'd expect from a hurricane which is tracking northeastwards and he's going to be hitting uh, the Azores very, very soon. We need to look at several charts just to see as to why Gordon is doing what it's doing. This is the 500 millibar streamlined uh, chart from uh, Weta Central and British Isles is underneath here. Here's the low and the winds rotating around the upper low towards the west of the British Isles. Now you can see how Gordon is related to this low because we've got a trough extending southwards from that low into the Azores, into the Atlantic. So what's happened is Gordon's been picked up off the eastern coast of the States, been blown eastwards across the Atlantic and is here, look, just to the southwest of the Azores Island. It's actually all tied in with the flow through the British Isles and by the time we get through towards the end of the week, the remnants of Gordon is, is going to be further northwards and will be uh, bringing some moisture and deepening low pressure as it moves into the British Isles. But you can see how Gordon's associated with that upper trough not only that, we need to take a look at sea surface temperatures as well because these really do hold the key. British Isles under here, these are the anomaly sea temperatures uh, f from uh, the 16th of August. And you see that cold pool of water that's just to the north of the Azores, but look to the south of the Azores. Just look from that track from the eastern seaboard of the States right the way across the central Atlantic into the area between Madeira and the Azores. We've got temperatures there which are uh, two and a half to three degrees above where they should be for the Madeira of August. So what's happening is Gordon and all hurricanes rely on the warmth of water to feed them, to provide them with their food. You need to get to water temperatures of sort of 26, 27 degrees and above in order to sustain a hurricane. Well, that's exactly unusually what uh, Gordon has been able to do right the way across the Atlantic and to the south of the Azores. So it's still going to be a hurricane by the time it gets to around 20 degrees west. That's a long, long way eastwards for hurricanes to be able to uh, continue in their hurricane state. So several factors have combined. The warmth of the water, the hooking in with the trough that's west of the British Isles at the moment, and that jet stream on the southern part of the trough being able to bring the hurricane across the Atlantic and uh, into the Azores Islands. Of course, there's only a certain time of year when uh, hurricanes can get this far eastwards because it is all critically dependent on water temperatures, which do start to ease off once we're past the middle part of September. So, just wanted to uh, bring that to your attention, really, just show you a little more of how Gordon has been managed to get its way eastwards. And uh, once again, thanks for watching and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.